happen because we choose for them to. You actually believe that? I chose to believe. It's getting harder, isn't it? What's that? To pretend this isn't happening. You're glowing. You're buffed yeah. and pressed. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. Uh, there's a strong message of hope and faith in this film. Is that, is that something that's important to you? For sure. Yeah. I think it's, those are two ideas that can definitely help you live a more fruitful life. Yeah, I mean, I think it's beautiful to see those um, themes in films often. If they are presented, it's schmaltzy and sort of unbelievable. And in this case, I, I think the movie is genuinely inspiring. Yeah, I can see after, when the film was over, as I'm sitting there drying the tears from my eyes and for, waiting for everybody to leave the theater so they didn't see me, why you'd want I'm to do I'm fine, man. I'll you guys outside. Something in my eyes. I'll you guys outside. <laughs> you outside. you, you yeah. try the ceiling trick, looking up at the ceiling, nothing, nothing helps. But yeah. um, uh, I can understand why you wanted to do this project, but what was it that made you just jump right out of the script? Um, I mean, for me, it was just something totally different. It was a different script than I'd ever read, just the different themes at work, and you never, you know, some scripts can be predictable, and then it was definitely something different for me personally, so that's what I liked. I, I just like the sort of simplicity of the characters, and everybody feels very real. Everybody feels like somebody who you yeah. might know, and I like to see characters like that represented in film. Nobody's fabulous or strange. Henry goes into uh, isolation to escape it all, and I was wondering, is uh, Hollywood celebrity, uh, is, is that something that would, uh, would appeal to you maybe at times, or? Um, I mean, I can't <laughs> speak for Rada. I mean, I really don't get hounded that much by the paparazzi. I mean, sure, there are a couple guys that follow me around. <laughs> Um, Sorry about that. I'm, I'm, I'm just trying to make peace with them. I'm trying to cut down um, my, <laughs> my time. So. Yeah. No, but uh, I think everybody can kind of identify with the idea of just kind of wanting to be alone. Turn I'm, it I'm all sure off. if like, you're a parent with three kids, the idea of going to some room and sitting alone is very appealing. But yeah. <laughs> Quiet time. Yeah. Um, no, I don't have that problem, but... Not can, yet. I'm going to tell you something. Dawn's a major hottie in this movie, <laughs> and I was, I was digging her. So oh, I'm thinking uh, this is going to be the breakthrough. This could be uh, it. There might be paparazzi out there waiting for you right now. I no. think so. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, I know the answer to this, but I want to hear it from you. Uh, can chocolate chip cookies cure everything? Uh, and tamales, right? <laughs> and tamales, yeah. Chocolate chip cookies and tamales. Pretty much. Yeah, I think any kind of comfort food is always very Mashed helpful. Mashed potatoes. Yeah. Pizza. I, I was thinking of you during the shoot, lying on your back, just eating chocolate chip cookies. I'm thinking, good day at work. I'm pretty yeah. sure. Yeah. Good day at work till you've had like the 12th one. There and, you go. Um, but yeah, it was actually a very fun shoot. I mean, considering kind of the subject matter, it was, yeah. we had a really nice crew and really nice actors. And actually, you know, it was a very fun set. Yeah, it wasn't a pressured set. How did the community take to you guys filming it? And it was an actual place. They were great. It was this town called La Mirada, which is a suburb. And you know, sometimes in big cities like Los Angeles and New York, people have kind of had it with film crews and the trucks and having streets shut down. But this is one of those places where they actually seemed to kind of like having us there, which was yeah, a nice. We kind of moved in. I mean, we were there for three weeks on the street every day, and we made friends with the people there. There was one woman that particularly wanted to make friends with you. <laughs> Ooh. No, I mean, and, and, <laughs> I mean, she actually, there were I interesting think I characters might have on made the street. friends with her. Oh, did you? Oh, no. no, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, I, uh, th I'm thinking about this. The thing that appealed to me is that when you look back, I think so many people go to the past to try to fix the present. I mean, I think everybody at one time, do, do you agree, has done that? I think there, I mean, there is some value in reconnecting to where you came from just to sort of contextualize where you are, but ultimately where you are is where you are. Yeah. And I think that's, where you, <laughs> that's the only place where you can resolve anything. You seem so comfortable doing like independent movies. Uh, is it, do you like doing them more than the big budget ones? I, think? Um, I actually like both. I mean, they're both fun. I mean, something like this, you're moving so fast and shooting so much where you know, on a big budget movie, you're sitting around for a couple hours while they do lighting and things like that. But I, I mean, I think as an actor, and I can't speak for Rada, but I mean, I kind, I kind of enjoy both. Smaller movies give you a more intimate acting experience, and characters can be presented better mm -hmm. in that way. 
Yeah, and you can get kind of into more of a groove just because you're working more and And it's just about quickly. the character, not about the effects or about the monsters or this or that. And wow. I can't tell you how much I enjoyed this. Thanks very much. Really good Thanks for watching.